أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Factor Loading in SCM When establishing convergent validity, we came across this issue where authentic leadership had AV score less than 0.50. Now we did delete two items to check whether it makes a difference or not. I thought it's very important to further discuss the issue of loadings in SCM. So this lecture will discuss factor loading in structure equation modeling. And what to do when you've got low loadings like this, although there is a reference that if your composite reliability is greater than 0 0.70, you can still say that yes, your convergent validity is established when you have got your AVE for the construct greater than 0 0.40. However, still it is important to discuss further the factor loading and how to deal with it in SCM. Factor loadings. Now, factor loadings are the correlation between the construct and each of its indicators, that is, correlation weights, which become the indicator loadings. Now, factor loading is a coefficient generated from the evaluation of confirmatory factor analysis for the measurement model. Factor loading indicates a certain factor represents a variable well. Each factor loading is a measure of the importance of the variable in measuring each factor. So how well a particular indicator is measuring the underlying factor. So if I have a weak factor loading, should I drop it? If you have a factor loading that is near or below 0 0.70 threshold, it does not mean you need to drop the indicator from the analysis. Complex or newly developed constructs will often have numerous indicators in an attempt to capture a comprehensive aspect of a construct. If you are developing a construct or a concept, you will have maybe 7, 8, 9 indicators to measure the underlying construct. It so happen or it may so happen that you have got like maybe out of those 7, 8, you, you've got 4 that have got low loadings, less than 0 0.70. This does not mean you have to delete every single one of them. If you have a numerous indicators that are strongly loading onto the unobserved construct and an AVE value that is still exceeding 0 0.50, then I would suggest keeping the indicator. Now, although your indicator is less than 0 0.70, but overall your AVE exceeds 0 0.50, then you should keep the indicator. The weaker indicator could very well be helping to capture a unique component of the construct. This is very important. That said, if the construct is nowhere near the threshold of 0 0.60, like if it's less than 0 0.70, but it's obviously less than 0 0.60 as well, this item is contributing very little in understanding the unobservable construct. That is, it's not representing the underlying construct very well. With the factor loading lower than 0 0.60, you are barely explaining a third of the variance in the indicator. If this is the case, you should strongly consider dropping this indicator. So this particular item with loading less than 0 0.60 is not explaining enough variance in the indicator. So in this case, it should be deleted. Now this poor performing indicator can create more unexplained variance in your model and ultimately hurt your ability to achieve convergent and discriminant validity. So there is more unexplained variance than explained variance in your model. So this can obviously affect the convergent and discriminant validity. A word of caution should be given about deleting indicators in the measurement analysis. If you collect data on some concept or phenomenon and in the analysis decide to start dropping indicators from your construct, then you really need to have a second data collection to verify that your revised scales without the dropped items are valid. In this case, for example, you go and do a second data collection and in the second data collection if again the items are dropping this means that yes there may be an issue with the item in a particular context but in the second data collection your items are not deleting then obviously your first data collection wasn't valid. Having a single sample and dropping indicators sets you up for criticism that you are capitalizing on chance. 
If you cannot verify that changes you made in the scales are stable and not based on unique aspects of that specific data collection, then criticism could ensure in regard to the validity of your results. Obviously, after the second data collection, the same thing happened, then this means that you've got a valid data. That is why pre-testing a survey or scales is so important, especially with an indicator that is being adapted into the new context or even if a relatively new construct is being measured. So that is why pre-testing or pilot testing is important when you are adapting a scale into a new context. The pre-test should be where indicators are dropped and your final data collection should verify the structure and measurement of each construct established at the end of the pretest. So, all items that need to be dropped shall be dropped at the pretest level. And then, these factor structure and your final data collection should obviously be verifying the structure and measurement of the construct. Moving on, there is another perspective as well. Although factor loadings over 0.7 are desirable, researchers frequently obtain weaker outer loadings in social sciences studies. Rather than automatically eliminating indicators, the effects of the removal of item on composite reliability, content and convergent validity shall be examined. Now, if I delete a particular indicator, how does it affect my composite reliability, content and convergent validity? Generally, items with outer loadings from 0.40 to 0.70 shall be considered for removal only if the deletion will increase the composite reliability and AVE over the recommended value. Now, this is something uh, that I believe in and this is something that should be done. We should not go on and delete items because they have got low loadings. Instead, items should be deleted keeping in mind the operationalization of the concept, the content validity and shall only be deleted if their deletion can increase the composite reliability and average variance extracted over the recommended value. Thank you very much.